What's up, YouTube? I know it's been a while since we last posted. Some of you in the comments mentioned you wanted me to go through what was in my network rack, and I want to start off with apologizing and saying that rack is gone. So, in this video, we're going to go ahead and go over my minimalist home network. Everything you saw in the last video, with the exception of one item, completely gone. We moved to a new house, and I figured I'm going to start again from scratch and keep things as minimal as I can. So before we get into it, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment down below which piece you think that I kept, and let's jump right in. All right, so my minimalist home network. First, you're probably wondering, what do I even mean by this? Now in my last video, you may recall, I had a 6U rack with a shelf, a couple switches, access points, a couple servers, and that to me just was kind of overkill. With the state that we moved to and the cost of energy, I wanted to see how much I could do with little resources. So, first things first in my home network, the main brains of the operation, is the TP-Link Deco 3600 mesh router. I've got one point in my laundry room. This is where the internet comes in from the outside. And then I've got a second mesh point in my kitchen. This makes sure that I've got plenty of Wi-Fi coverage throughout my house for all of my IoT devices, all my mobile devices and computers. This is the workhorse. If you guys are not familiar with the TP-Link setup, I highly suggest looking into it. Um, my house is about 2,500 square feet and I have zero dead spots, including I have Wi-Fi in my backyard, which was kind of my goal there. So absolute awesome setup. The one piece, that I kept from my last network setup is my TerraMaster NAS. Obviously, I didn't want to get rid of my storage server. I do want to upgrade eventually, but I figured in the process of moving all the costs associated with that, I would at least keep my file server. Now, on my NAS, I've got a couple other things running on it that we can go over in a later video that I've got running in Docker, um, like Plex server, things like that. So, that's my home network. I do have some IoT devices, such as a smart thermostat, smart garage, things like that, um, which will go over my smart, minimal smart home network in another video. But at least for today, that's what I've got for you guys. Again, my minimalist home network setup, trying to keep power consumption low while power is still there. If you guys have any questions, feel free, ask them in the comments. Um, if you guys like this video, please, again, like and subscribe, comment below, helps the YouTube algorithm, and we'll see you guys in the next one.